an engineer, a computer programmer, and a filmmaker, the three pillars of the universe. They have formed a consultant firm, and each episode they are contracted to solve the world's greatest problems. This is Important Business. Season's greetings and welcome to the very third episode of Fancy Wolf's podcast, Important Business. I'm your host, Cameron Kennedy, and today I'm joined by my co-host, Taylor Robinson. Howdy. Howdy. And uh, we've also got our other co-host, Ryan Koliakovo. Hey, how is everybody doing today? <laughs> today? Wow, nice enunciation. Um, yeah, so today we're being joined by our outside consultant, our, uh, what we call that? Our, Isn't it like- our consultant. Uh, but but we can get an outside consultant. Somebody external not a, external consultant. Yeah. Uh, our first guest on the show, Hannah Stewart. Hello. Um, which means it's time for our very first segment of Who Are You? How'd you get in here? <laughs> Who are you? How'd you get in here? Which means yeah, I've got questions for you. Okay. So that we can actually Shoot. introduce you to people. That's recording. Yep. Cool. Um. So, who are you? Questions. First off, I think uh, before we do this, I should mention in the intro, because Bill requested it, I'm the filmmaker, Taylor, you're the engineer. Hello. Ryan, you're the computer. I always want to say computer computer. I want to say computer scientist every time. That's more proper, but... The computer programmer? No, scientist, but... It's more proper than programmer? Yeah, but programmer is the cool thing to say. But aren't you a programmer? Yeah. He took a degree in computer science, that makes him a scientist. I guess. Yeah. I'm just saying it is more specific what he's... Right, right. Okay. Um, so yeah, for who are you? How'd you get in here? First off, what's your name? Uh, my name is Hannah Stewart. Okay. Uh, where are you from, Hannah Stewart? I am from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Okay. D town. D town. Uh, what do you do? Mm, <laughs> that's a hard question. Uh, right now, I do something that I really don't want to do. Which is? Which is I work in a restaurant. Right. And then. But I used to work in a lab, and I did like shark stuff for a bit. So, what? What? Why were you doing shark stuff? <laughs> because I like sharks. <laughs> and, and I study marine biology. You studied it, and you graduated. And from, I graduated from, from Dalhousie your, from your undergrad. Yeah, my undergrad, and yep. I'm be doing like a post grad thing in South Africa. In Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, good question. Where sorry? is that? Where is that? Yeah, where is it? South Africa. Africa. It's on the other side of the con. Mm. Uh, the globe. There we go. That's the side of the globe. <laughs> the side of the the yeah. uh, how did you meet us? How did I meet you? Um, funny story. I don't know. Is it? High school. I, high school? Yeah. 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 I don't um, think, I think it was just one of those things where our friend group, friend groups met yeah. and we, we couldn't get rid of each other. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, these ones are all quick fire after this. Okay. Okay. What do you work quick? <laughs> was I supposed to elaborate? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, more just like. Whatever first comes to mind for these. I guess. All right. We don't want to know too much about yeah. you. All right. Just whatever All you right. first think of. What have you been listening to? Um, Childish Gambino. Okay. What have you been reading? Nothing. Nothing. That's too bad. No. I like reading. I'm not going to ask you playing because I don't think you play that many games. No, I don't play any games. Uh, what have you been watching? Um, n- nothing. Nothing? Wait, what's the most recent thing I watched? I think I watched some of Shit's Creek because okay. I'm getting ready for... A big event. I know it's supposed to be fast. I'm not. No, no, no. That's fine. Basically, there's a crazy woman in Schitt's Creek who's like a rich snob. And I use her as a character study because there's a woman who comes to the hotel frequently who is a horrible person. Oh, just your own character study. Not something. Yeah. No. I, okay. like, I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm trying to like train <laughs> okay. myself. Yeah. To interact with this woman. Okay. Okay. Favorite animal? Sharks. Favorite color? Black. Oh. Black, not purple. Black. Wow. Favorite food? Uh, noodles or nudes. Nudes. Okay. Can you play an instrument? I used to be able to play piano. If you had to kill someone in this room, who would it be? Um, probably, <laughs> I hate this question. Yeah. Probably. Quick fire. You have to answer it quickly. Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think it would be fun. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mark it down. <laughs> there goes. Mark it down. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, is that visible when you put it back on camera? No. No, put it back down there. Just, that's visible. Okay, that's a tally one oh, for Ryan. It is visible. <laughs> Look at that. That's always going to be there for people to see. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel like it would be satisfying. So now I think we know who you are. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that last one was the most uh, very insight into your yeah. character. Um, 
All right, which means we're moving on to Ryan's topic he prepared for us of your questions for Hannah. Jeez. Oh, you have questions for yeah. me. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I heard you're into fish. Yeah. Uh-huh. Cool. Um, so I just have a few. Oh, yeah. This, so this is Ask an Expert, I guess. That's what I should have called mm. this, right? Yeah. Welcome to Ask an Expert, where we take a fish <laughs> expert or any other expert and ask <laughs> topic-related questions. Topic-related questions? Yes. Okay. Today's topic is fish. Hmm. Uh, these could be quick fire. Okay. You can elaborate. All right. No essays or I think anything. Elaborate would be nice. <laughs> elaborate would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I should preface this by saying I don't know a lot about fish. This is marine life in general. I think <laughs> I've read through them. Like um, marine life, yeah. Because th- that's the thing is we, as we promised in the intro, we're here to help the world, right? Yeah. yeah. And like, I so only that's what we need an outside yeah. consultant right, is cool. we don't know that much about. So if you study marine biology and don't know much about fish, did you study anything? Oh, yeah. But I mean, an undergrad doesn't really mean anything, does it? (laughs) Ryan's crushed. He's not a real scientist. It's the only thing I have. (laughs) That's why I'm doing more education. I, um, yeah, we just covered the land. You can cover the oceans for us. All right. I can cover the ocean for you. What what do you have? Great. Well, fish produce bubbles (laughs) as seen in several motion pictures, such as Finding Nemo, what have you. Does this mean that fish, as opposed to humans, breathe carbon dioxide and expunge oxygen? Expunge? Your thoughts, please. <laughs> I was impressed with the word expunge when I first read it. I thought, I wow, you- did you look that up? No, I did not. Wow. Good for you. I kind of know this answer. There is a physiological answer that I could give you. Something about how there's different cues. Fish react to carbon dioxide, not oxygen, in, the, in their, their atmosphere. So there is something about. So I'm right. So you are kind of right. Great. So they do sure. breathe carbon they, dioxide. They don't. They don't breathe it, but they do. It, they react to carbon dioxide more than they do to oxygen. Do they expunge? expunge. They, ex- they do expunge. Yes. Okay. Cool. Sponge, Correct. Expunge. <laughs> expunge or expunge. 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 Oh, I misread that. Yeah. Expunge. Wow. <laughs> word of so the day. I did not know the word. Period. Then. Yeah. That was in my vocabulary. Mm-hmm. Um. How many fish do tsunamis kill or big waves? And do they get <laughs> caught in them and come crashing down with them? I'd probably say like a fuck ton. Yeah? Really? Yeah, a fuck ton. That's interesting. Yeah. So where was the big tsunami? Katrina. <laughs> was No, that was a hurricane. That was a hurricane. What was the big tsunami? Japan. Japan. No, 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 before then. There was one before then. There's tsunamis all over the world. There was the a time. big one that made the news when we were kids, and I don't remember what it was, but it was before. Are you thinking of the movie 2012? Nope, but let's go with that. Okay. <laughs> Were there a bunch of fish lying around in the streets after that? The movie Twin Falls? Interest. Just in general, I, I guess. Bet. After it, oh, I bet. Oh, okay. Probably. I don't know. I feel like they probably wash up. Yeah, it's, why not? Animals wash up on shore when they have messy weather. Okay. Yeah, yeah there it happens. Like what? Uh, well, like think of like massive whales that get stranded. They got to get pushed oh, up okay. there somehow. What about bears? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, just check. Like polar bears. Yeah. Sure. That makes sense. But that's more like North Pole. Oh, okay. Santa right. has to deal with them, I guess. Great. Um, I once saw a beluga whale at SeaWorld <laughs> that had a th- long, thin penis. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to let you know about that. Is that normal, I guess? Yes. <laughs> Is uh, what you experienced normal? <laughs> Sharks actually have two penises. That's fun. Wait, yeah. but this was a beluga whale. They're like right next whale. to each other. Yeah, I know, but I, I don't know much about beluga whales. I'm sure they have massive dicks. But long they thin. did. Long thin, yeah, that's prob- that makes sense. How thin? They're kind of like... It? it was thinner like than a human? Pencil thin. Pencil thin. Ooh. Pencil thin? Wait, c- like a normal it, pencil? Compared yeah. to it, or was it the same thickness was as it a person, flaccid? but longer? I don't know. <laughs> It was pencil thin. It was pencil thin and really long. Are you sure you just weren't really far away? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. It's like it was the thickness of a pencil. Yeah. So thinner, thinner. Okay, a finger still. It's still really thin. It was noticeably thin. Okay. Um, Ouch. You're uh, learning something about marine life. I learned something. Me too. Wow. Uh, So they have the impossible burger. Yes. So why can't they just make impossible shark fin soup? Um, <laughs> good question. What would you make it out of? Impossible. <laughs> what happened? Make it out of impossible. <laughs> Some of that impossible <laughs> material they use. It's like antimatter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could go to, we, we could go to, what's it called? The shark, what's the dragon's den, but world? shark one? Shark tank. Shark, shark tank. tank. Shark, shark tank. tank. Shark we could take shark it to shark tank. 
Dragon's Den, Shark Den. <laughs> Um, is global warming a good thing for fish because they get more water from the melting ice caps? Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, I've no. Got... no. <laughs> yeah, fish are in the water because they're thirsty. You're right. It's they're really. Well, it's more room to water. swim around in. I don't know. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. When she said that, I looked at her with actual hope of what she was saying wasn't a lie. <laughs> <laughs> she very quickly looked concerned. <laughs> said no. <laughs> Great. Yeah, no, global that, warming is not good for the animals. There's people that could believe whatever we say. Out there. Oh, that's true. I should yeah. not be <laughs> sarcastic. The sharks, then. after the uh, offensive propaganda that was Jaws, they've right. been on the... Uh, uh, Naughty list? Defense, I guess. Not even offense, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, anything you say is really that's helping. True. You're the expert, I'm after the expert. all. Okay, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> more water isn't always good. Great. You know, like... M- more money. More money, more problems. More water, more problems. But great I've money. That works. That's water. what I've heard. Great responsibility. Uh, now, fish aside, mm. let's get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> Coral reefs. Oh, God. They sound pretty cool. Mm. It's a cool name. Reef just slips off the tongue. Mm. Uh, yes or no, clownfish live in coral reefs. No. Really? They live in anemones. Where where do anemones live? They live. They 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 build on like rocks or reefs. Yes. So kind of yeah. They are a reef fish. Who's the expert? Right. <laughs> 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 that answer. Great. So yes, you are correct. I saw that in a movie. Yeah. What movie? Finding Nemo. I don't. Is that oh. a documentary? It might have been. Is that a DreamWorks that film? That movie. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what Speaking you, of I DreamWorks, was I can say no. <laughs> what a good segue. Speaking of DreamWorks films. Uh, have you ever seen Shark Tale? And did it have oh, any effect on your career choice? Yes, absolutely. The like Rasta animal. What was it? Uh, what was it? Eels. It was a jellyfish. Yeah, and the mm. thing that Bob Marley yeah. said. Mm. Uh, that was probably the key ingredient for me going into marine biology. That Shark Tale made an expert. Shark Tale. Shark Tale made an expert. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'll title the episode. <laughs> yeah. Were there sharks in that movie? Yes. Um, there were, the main one was a shark. Yeah. Was he a shark? Almost all. Remember, uh-huh. he's... He's I thought they were all fish. The main mafia. Oscar one. the shark killer. <laughs> yeah, that one. Because yeah. remember, he would kill sharks, or they thought he killed sharks. Oh. The brother died from an anchor that fell on his head, yeah. and then Jack Black's character, who was like... Jack was, Black was in that film. He, wow. was the, he was the shark buddy, and he was too much of a wimp. He didn't want to be like... He's like, I don't want to eat fish. And so he became friends with Oscar the fish, and they did like... It was wrestling. It was right. pretty much wrestling, but no one knew it was fake yet. So they went to the city and it was throwing oh, them around yeah. and they're like, holy crap, he's killing a shark. And his dad... They're like, get the cameras on him. And his dad, the shark dad, saw him on the news. He's like, my son is dead. Yeah. And then they kept painted him up like a dolphin. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? And then they sang... I remember uh, the... Pen- <laughs> I remember the penthouse scene. Yeah. Wasn't there a the, penthouse? With the Macy Gray song or whatever that yeah. Was? yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And I remember like the real sexy fish. No, me yeah, too. Angelina <laughs> Jolie. Yeah. Angelina Jolie. She had the the like Angelina Jolie's lips on a fish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's like they're sexualizing a fish, but still look like a fish. Hey, it she worked was, though. She was right? hot. <laughs> <laughs> it, it worked. Explain to us how it worked. Tell us what your experience was the first time you watched. Ask an mine. expert with an ask an expert. Oh, they sexualized the fish. How did sex cells? No, and how did that sex work? Cells. How was how did it work? What did it do to you? <laughs> I don't know. I was like. Ten or something. Yeah, but right. You, describe you, you said it worked. <laughs> you said with confidence it worked. What Tell worked. us what it they did. made the fish sexualized, and no, but the sexualization right. works. We like that's yeah, right. but why it's making it sexualized? Yeah. How do you how, how do you how know, it, know it was successful? How did you judge the sexualization was? Oh, I just you know. No, but you how did you feelings. know? <laughs> you got feelings. Yeah. What okay. kind of feelings? Just funny feelings, you know. Where, what, what, did you dance like? that? <laughs> Where'd you get these feelings? Everywhere, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Do you dance when you get feelings like that? Sometimes. Okay. So were you dancing in the movie theater? Yeah. Okay. And then at home when I went and watched it again. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> That's all I want to know from that. Great. I have two more questions. All right. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I thought of another question as I was writing this question. Okay. Can fish drink fizzy water or do the bubbles fuck with them? And then I thought, do fish drink? Because they're in water all the time. So yes, they do drink. Great. Uh, I feel like fizzy waters will just make them float all the way up, you know? Be like, they, if you feel like helium damage? balloon. I think it would cause damage, but I think the... Would they get the would, bends? I think they'd get... Probably. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> really? <laughs> cool. I said that was a joke, but... <laughs> I said that was a half joke. I don't know. Can fish get the bends? Is that a thing? 
I'm sure they could. That was going to be one of the questions. recently where someone died from the bends at the end. The the bends involves having nitrogen in your nitrogen blood. Nitrogen so Yeah, because that's yeah. something we were talking about. Is bends not all, the bends aren't always deadly, right? No, you can go into like a decompression chamber and yeah. that'll. But even save if you don't, sometimes. right? Is it, it could a death just be extremely if you don't? Painful. It, it's extremely painful. You don't yeah. always die, but you probably wish you were. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. sure there's some fine line between yeah. it doesn't happen and you die. Yeah, where it just hurts like hell. And that's kind yeah. of what I was wondering. Is if yeah. it's, is it something that like it's probably a pretty fine it's line. Though. Not you, there getting air in your blood isn't very yeah. good for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Great. Thank you. You're very um, welcome. So how come I can go outside and get an airborne disease, but if someone injects a deadly disease into the ocean or a lake or something, I can't catch it? Have you ever heard of the elements? Well, water is an element too. Waterborne disease, huh? Sounds catchy. This is gotcha journalism. Have you ever like <laughs> gone into a dirty water body with like a cut? Oh yeah. That's not good. Really? Have you ever? You've never done that? Well, sure I have. He has to go. He has to go outside. <laughs> well, of course I have. I do it all the time. Of course I go in with open wounds. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> that's that's, that's no good. You never caught, when swim- you never caught swimmers itch before, right? The YMCA won't let me back in because I keep going in <laughs> with open wounds. Because he brought it there. Yeah, no. So yes, you can get like the Black Plague was spread with like coughing rats. Yeah, into the air, which I but think I've gave never rats heard of, like, a very a bad water rap. Black Plague. What? Water. Oh, it gave. Rats I think a bad I one? think the Black Plague gave rats a bad. So name. similar to sharks, where jaws. <laughs> Ratatouille gave, gave them a good name. Though. Yeah, no, I think that's when. Ratatouille, they kind of, Rizzo that the was rat. Their comeback. Rizzo the rat is cool as hell. Yeah, he's got the Letterman jacket, backwards hat, yeah. skateboard. So what, what happens when we find out that in that entire movie he was touching all that food and he had the plague? And he actually started it right then and there. Like he was patient. I, we, everyone uh, loves a good origin Where story. where was the yeah. plague? Like where did that go down? Wasn't it in France? Yeah. Where so. Ratatouille takes place. Yeah. So was that kind of the wow. purpose of the movie? Was that mm. rats had an especially bad reputation in France? I mean, rats being in restaurants in general, I don't. Right. No, but I mean, I'm saying is that why they put it in France? Is because like this Could was be. the place where like I think it was they the hate food. rats there. Um, I think it was the food maybe. aspect. I get that, but I'm saying like if you had to have some kind of like. But if you're thinking of fancy chefs, you're not like Haha, Canada. You're thinking like France. Sure. Sure. Yeah. It was more so. I was wondering if they're like, hey, like we've we're gonna. Yeah, you could have it where the movie's also about, oh, we have a fucking, a bat inside of a <laughs> Swiss chalet in Canada. But it's like, no, we're going to make the highest that. end food. <laughs> we're going to make it rats. And we're going to put it in the place where they hate rats the most. I want to watch that movie now <laughs> <laughs> in a Swiss chalet. That's all my questions for the expert. Okay. Well, as uh, you would have heard in the intro, this is Important Business, our weekly podcast where we get together and solve the world's problems. We post every Thursday at 10 a.m. Atlantic time. That's 9 Eastern, 8 Central, 6 Pacific, right? You can find us on Spotify, Google Play, uh, Apple Podcasts. Easiest to find us by looking up Fancy Wolf, more so than Important Business. We're also on YouTube. You can find that easiest at fancywolf.com. But for now, let's get down to business. So, our first topic for today's show is, as I have to check it, um, I want to start with this one, because this is our first episode before, or, yeah, our only episode before Christmas, right? Uh, episode four will be, I think, right after, so I want to talk about to guess in the Christmas mood. When did you find out Santa wasn't real? Me? Yeah. All, right, all of us, but okay. we'll start with you. Um, I don't remember a specific time, yep. but I do have two individual stories that kind of go along with us okay. um one of them was i remember being like 10 or something like that i already knew at that point i don't know if i was actually 10 it was somewhere around there yep. um but it like confirmed it because i was opening a gift that said like from santa on it opened it and then my parents were talking about how difficult it was to get that mm-hmm. right gift and they were like uh like they obviously didn't realize that that's what it said on it or maybe they just didn't care at that point i don't know but like i already knew at that point and i was like all right that's locked down but i also remember in junior high uh being in grade seven and we were in art class with our art teacher miss finster i don't know if either of you guys remember who she was yeah i remember miss finster but miss finster was known for one of our one of the exercises we had to do in class for drawing was you would she would get a student yeah, Which it, it, you shouldn't be doing this when it's a bunch of like thirteen-year-olds going through puberty. But got one to stand on a desk, yep. put a horse mask on, and then you would draw them. Yeah. So there was some she people that weren't percent unlock some fetishes that day. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna say like some people weren't going through puberty as well, 
and you're drawing their bodies. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Well, I remember her also being well known for her glass eye, her weird ass. Yeah, she haircuts. had that big like. Where the fuck did you guys? She had go that to big school? like. Uh, what was the tattoo <laughs> on her chest? She had that big like. I don't know. She had some. It was like a pot leaf. It was a yeah. big one though, right? And she was just like she just sat around, kind of like this skeleton lady with tattoos, weird haircut, kind of glass. Call her eye. skeleton lady, but <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I'm just trying to give paint a picture here. Sure. Okay. She was. She was. Maybe we shouldn't have used her real name. <laughs> oh, but you can bleep it out. Yeah. Uh, what do we want to change it to? Uh, because I'll just paste Mi- this back in there. Miss Smith. Smith. Okay, so Miss Smith. Smith here. <laughs> Miss Finster Miss is way better. Smith. <laughs> Miss Finster is way better. So Miss Finster was um. Use TJ's voice. <laughs> or Randall's voice. Randall. Um. Yeah. So, uh, where was I going with this? Yeah. Miss Finster basically said it was like one of our first days, and we were all standing there. Well, I guess it would have been first days because we it was also Christmas time so much. <laughs> and uh, she just sits down and is like, "All right, we're gonna do an exercise. Everyone's gonna talk about when they learned Santa wasn't real." And there was like three people in that class that didn't know that. Oh, I forgot about. Yeah, that. she just sat down and was like, "We're talking about this day. Just like first thing, we sit down. This is the this is the topic of the day." Yeah, I guess like, we would have been twelve. Wow, Thanks. like. I mean, most people knew, but, like, I was looking around the classroom, like, I could see some faces, like, yeah, that person didn't fucking know, and <laughs> I, that person definitely didn't know, like, faces went straight red and stuff like that, like, I wonder why, what was the is... purpose of that? Like, what joy does she get from having that as an activity? Like, this is art class. Make us go paint people this with horse This just ha- again. gave like, me another, like, segue off of it. When do homeschooled kids figure out Santa isn't real? Um, when they finally leave the house for the first time. I guess so, yeah. If they're homeschooled, they probably don't leave. What, what friends are they going to go play with? I mean, even if they did have <laughs> friends, though, like, it's at school is where you most often hear people talk about Other homeschooled yeah, kids. Yeah. Some of them group up. Do they? Oh, yeah. you were homeschooled for a little bit. Yeah. That explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's how you, because it would have been around that's that That's how age. I found out the other homeschool kids were all beating me up. But you would have like, heard rumors. isn't real. You would have heard rumors <laughs> when you were in, like, great primary right like i yeah. feel like our entire Mine lives was like, people would always failed. say it, and it's like oh don't say that but also they had yeah. things about in movies of anyone who said that they were the bad guy so i guess that's yeah. how they tried to trick us right mine was like taylor where my parents i kind of already knew and then my parents let it slip a little bit yeah, yeah. i thought i don't remember finding gonna... out at all like i just remember that christmas being like the confirmation that it wasn't yeah. but like i like i knew Mine was more like I kept trying to get my mom to explain things to me because I'd see things like how Santa had the same wrapping paper as her. Yep. And then I have two That's older brothers. A lot. So she would put uh, little like colored uh, uh, little sticky things to indicate which kid mm. it goes to. And I'd be like, why did Santa do that, mom? And she would try to explain it like logically. And I'm like, why aren't you just saying magic? Like... That's all I wanted to hear. And that's when I started to kind of, I was just like, why isn't that's Santa That's when magicians magic? fell apart for you. Yeah. And then I came downstairs one night in the middle of the night and saw them putting the gifts under the tree. And I was like, hmm. Did you see him pissing it. under the mistletoe? No, they were fighting. <laughs> so as you oh, can guess, no. my mom, like, she goes the extra mile for everything. Yeah. I don't know how she had gifts, but she did. Mm. Um, so she didn't wrap me. anything from Santa. She oh, wrapped okay. everything else, but for my brother and I, Brendan... We would come down and underneath the stockings, like each of us had our own stocking and all the gifts that couldn't fit in there were just set up in on display in the front of the chimney. So she did that every time. And that made it very like there was no chance of getting mixed up and right. she could see them. So there was no chance she would get something mixed up between the two. Right. Because that's where I thought your story was going before, Taylor, of like, I thought you're going to say, oh, that's for Daniel, your brother. Oh, no. Maybe that happened before. I don't remember. I, and it was just, I thought that's where it was going to go. I feel like I've heard that from someone before. Yeah. So that was similar with you? Yeah. Who was, did one of you guys have an Easter bunny story? I had a tooth fairy story. Yeah. What was that one? Um, I was sitting in my my room and I put my tooth under my pillow. <laughs> I remember that. And it was like yeah. something where my bed was getting fixed. I don't know what it was, but I was sleeping on a mattress on the floor. So I was just s- s- sitting there. And I wasn't fully asleep, and I felt a hand, or I, like, heard someone coming, and then I felt a hand go under the pillow, and take it out, and I woke up, I'm like, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> and he was like, oh, uh, I was just checking if the tooth fairy came yet, and then he put the tooth back. You didn't even put the money, uh, or did he take it? 
I can't Maybe remember what happened. Maybe it was like a, a trick where he said, he, I'm just going to put this back now, son. But so he actually he probably did take it. I, I, I like then, his logic of, I'm just checking to see if the tooth fairy came. Because if he didn't come, so I good. wanted to check it. <laughs> it was mine. Oh, no, I like it that, that $2. I like that he was just concerned, like, this fucking tooth fairy better not rip us off. <laughs> <laughs> tooth better be there, money better. Sorry, tooth better be gone and the money be there. Yeah. <laughs> but then I woke up the next morning, uh, and there was a note outside my door with $2 that said, your dog was too scary, so I didn't want to come in Aww. your room. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that's how you found so out. So he just gave up. Up. And then I was like, yeah, you were obviously... How old were you? I was like 10 at yeah. least, I think. That, oh, yeah, then that's fair. That's a big, yeah. Yeah, for me, I remember uh, I have a Tooth Fairy one that I'll tell after, but with the Christmas one, I remember it was similar to you guys where like there was no defining moment, but like you obviously get like suspicious. So I was just in the car with my mom once and she was talking about Christmas. She was talking about like something involving my brother and I just said... I know. Like, I just acted like I'm an adult here. I know Santa's real. And she just was like, oh, okay. And then talked about stuff a little bit. I was like, ah. So I was sitting there pretending like, yeah, I'm an adult. But really, I was thinking like, holy shit. Yeah. I just found out this dude isn't real. Yeah. I do remember like specifically the day when I was like, Santa is real. I remember oh. I was at like I oh, it wait, all it, came so, together so with you me. Didn't believe well, I, before. I think I kind of like accepted it until okay. this one day. I think I was at like a it was a Christmas kids thing where you go to your dad's work and yeah. the Santa's there and they give out gifts. Yeah. And I remember I was sitting on his lap and he asked me what I wanted and I said a Polly Pocket and then I got a Polly Pocket and I was blown away. I was like, how oh, on earth yeah. did he know? Because you told him. Because I told yeah no yeah. and that's when I was just like he's real. And oh. from that day on until I figured it out. Mm. I, I wonder if... Convinced. See, I don't know this. And I kind of want... This is part of like... They probably don't do this. They're probably too lazy to. When you mail things... Because in they'll Canada... Do it, they'll do it. In Canada where you send something to Santa at like... What is it? H-O-H-O-H-O. Yeah, that's the postal code. It's like one North Pole or something like that. Yeah. yeah it's a the post office has a, a department that does it, I think. So they kind write things back. But... Do they send it back for your parents to read? What do you mean? Kids can read. What do you mean? Well, they won't. Like, no, no, no. I mean, no. Your I think list. someone. I think someone responds to it. Oh. I was gonna say, do they send it back to your parents so they know what to uh, buy? Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure I gave mine. I think that my parents probably spell checked it. I yeah, did. my parents mailed mine <laughs> yeah. all the time. Yeah, I think they probably. I, say, wrote I feel like it. it said they would mail it for you. Yeah, I think mm. they wrote it too. Okay. I do have another story about that though. When I already knew, um, I used the washroom a lot in the middle of the night, and. There's been more than one Christmas in a row where I get up to go use the washroom. I'm like taking a big poop, mm. and uh, then my we're parents gonna, come we're out. Have a boo sound. <laughs> <laughs> then my parents start coming out, and I'm like, "Oh no, they're going to go do the yeah. gifts. Oh, and we're gonna like run into dirty. each other. Right, and this is gonna be weird." So I sat on the toilet for like 20 minutes waiting for them to finish. Until eventually they realized I was just in there because the door is closed, which means there's somebody in there. And then I came out and I was like, hey. And I just walked to bed. And that's happened like several years in a row that I happen to use the washroom right uh, when I go to go. See, You're what so regular. That reminded me, what convinced me for a while is it turns out later in life we found out we had like rac- a raccoon in our attic. <laughs> but <laughs> you thought it was Sam. Christmas <laughs> Eve one time I heard a bunch of, it sounded like footprints oh on the roof. God. I was laying in my bed. So I heard footprints on the friggin' roof, and uh, like it sounded like it, it sounded like antlers. Sorry, not antlers. Friggin' reindeer. reindeer. Thank you. <laughs> and Santa, like I could have sworn it was all these things. And then I waited. It's like okay, like ten minutes later, I heard it again. I was like, wow, that was him arriving. That was him leaving. <laughs> so I thought that. It also just reminded me though. We used to always go to my neighbors on Christmas Eve, mm-hmm. and all of us would watch like the Nora Track Santa thing. Mm-hmm. It said he arrived in Halifax while we were still over there. I was like, he's definitely not here yet. And we watched him leave to another place because it shows like, it's like a Google Maps view, right? Yeah, of like yeah. where Santa is in the world. Isn't he supposed to arrive around like midnight or one o'clock he in the morning? He should have, but he didn't. He arrived at like maybe 11. Oh, it's not, I don't think it's supposed to do that. Yeah. For that reason. That like, that's how we knew that he was. Forget about daily savings. Yeah, exactly. As for the uh, Tooth Fairy story that I remembered before, it was... One time, my brother lost his tooth, and I, for some reason, had it. I don't know what that part of the story is. I had his tooth. I lost his tooth. I don't know where (laughs) that went, but I felt so bad, but I also was feeling very schemey, so I wrote a note to the tooth fairy of like, hey, this is the situation. I broke it down for like, I lost this tooth. 
I feel very bad, blah, blah, blah. Can you still leave money? If you agree, please sign at the bottom. <laughs> I thought, I'm going to catch this bitch. What? <laughs> I'm going to get a signature from the Tooth Fairy. And when I woke up the next morning, the note was just ripped out and it was left under his pillow. Oh my God. Uh, trying to get Why wouldn't someone like fake sign it? Because then uh, that's too complicated. I, I think, I think I feel like you're... again, these are like, you guys tell these stories about your parents messing up. This was my mom, right? Do you think she's going to leave anything up to chance? The only time that she let any hint in was where I tricked her directly face to face by bold face lying to her <laughs> that I didn't believe in Santa, right? Like she didn't even leave it up to... Uh, Tissue paper, t- sorry, not tissue paper, wrapping paper to get it wrong, right? Right. Anything like that, there is no way that they're going to sign something and ha- may- me be able to be like, this pen, or right. I recognize this handwriting or something like that. Or I got your fingerprints off the note. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> weird shit I was doing. I had a lot of spy gear as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah? That shit was good. Uh, the favorite, there was one, this was one I was going to say for a podcast topic at one point. Did you guys, did you guys have Spike years We kid? had some, yeah. yeah. I feel like after Spike kids came out, probably our, like, our whole age group yeah. all had mm-hmm. Spike gear. Like My favorite one that I had, yeah. it was walkie talkies. For me, it was, there's supposed to be sunglasses <laughs> with walkie talkies built in. They, these walkie talkies, like, if you put up your fingers in front of your eyes, like make a circle, that's how big the <laughs> opening lenses were on these things. About a two or three centimeters above and below and sticking out from your face were these big plastic <laughs> things. They were silver gray. They wrapped around your entire head. There was a big battery pack oh on the back. On the side, there was a big antenna thing and a part down to your mouth. And I thought, this is the sneakiest <laughs> shit. No one's going to know I'm using walkie-talkies right now. <laughs> right Good like call. That. Uh, I also just remember walking into like a super secret meeting or something. Yeah. <laughs> and being like, oh, just got my son. There wasn't much spying to do as a kid. That sounds even longer. like less subtle than Google Glass was trying to do. I would just try and yeah, spy which my parents. We talked about before. Another one that I liked is I had that Spy Kids, you know, that it wasn't a briefcase, but it had like, they had that like metal, it almost looked like a what you would see at a construction site, what they use for their lunch. Mm. Yeah. Like a lunch Like a lunch Kind of like, lunch kinda like that. Yeah. Like a lunch box, like but a an metal lunch box. box. Like a metal box. Yeah. yeah. So they had one of those in Spy Kids that looked like that. But on the top part, when you opened it up, it was flat up top and had all kinds of fake bolts on it. You could twist one of them and open a secret compartment. Hmm. That's another one I remembered. Dude, that's Love wicked. One. Yeah. Do you guys not have any cool gear that you had? I don't think it was like that. No? Not as in... No. I remember having like binoculars that could look forward or backward. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was Ow. wondering, when you said backward, I was thinking, wait, back at your eyes? No, <laughs> no, like behind your... you. Okay, yeah. Like you oh, press yeah. one button. I had those like, they were either closed and you press one button, it would shift the like lenses over so you could see forward. Mm. You pressed it again and then your right eye would have mirrors to see behind you. I don't know why you'd ever need to do that without being able to turn around. Right. Because I'm pretending um, I'm bird watching, but I'm actually watching the person behind me. <laughs> but like, <laughs> so this behind like, but like, we so wanted to spy and shit, but like, you kind of wanted shit to actually go down. So you had an excuse to be spying. Because all the time yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm there's sure a, a little stranger nearby on the street and I just want to stare at them from a bush. I remember something. doing like something with mirrors or like some mirror thing where yeah. you could see around made, the corner Ryan or made something. A shank with a I'd just be like glass. up on my grandmother's stairs and just like doing it into the kitchen just like watching her make food or something <laughs> just like spying on my grandmother collecting data i feel like <laughs> class was the best spot for it because it's like we're supposed to be reading i have a fucking mirror in my book and i'm watching the teacher watch us to think we're reading yes. <laughs> i liked all that shit um yeah which yeah. i don't have a good segue out of that but <laughs> no. we're moving on to pet peeves um because yeah hannah's on the show and i thought she was someone who probably has a lot of them I hate a lot of people and a lot of things. Yeah, as do I. Mm. Um, these two are a little bit too cheerful. I joined life care. a little too much. Yeah, Ryan's too apathetic. <laughs> Taylor's too happy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't. You like definitely have pet some peeves, things. Though. There's definitely yeah. things that tick you off about people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, do you guys have any that you really have been wanting to talk about first, or no? I can go last. It's fine. Oh, we can we can go round. Like we don't have yeah, to. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Whatever you guys want to say. Um, cause the first one I was going to bring up was frigging, um, people, yeah, you would relate with this one. People at the gym, when you go there, they use a piece of equipment. They don't wipe it down. I sometimes do that. That's not that bad. I fucking hate that shit. It depends on the equipment and it depends how sweaty they were. Okay. What, like what's something you wouldn't do that on then? Um, I, I don't know. Like the weights. Yeah. If it's a dumbbell, I don't really. I do that it. because your hands are pressed against them. For me, it's just yeah. a courtesy thing. Just of like. 
I guess it's, it's not more because like, I think I did it because I want other people to know. Hey, this shit is clean. Yeah, it's also like if it's a barbell, they don't it's like that barbell is either touching my chest or my shoulders, neither of which are dirty. And your also hands, though, is what I'm it. saying. Yeah, I just wash my hands before and after, and don't touch my face. Dirty. But you're also touching the other equipment. Yeah. And you don't know other people wash their hands. Yeah, well, that's their problem. Okay, well, I'm doing it for other people. I like okay. If I rub my sweaty butt or back all over something like a bench, absolutely. How sweaty is this a, button? Back? Or a piece of equipment where <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm sitting on it? Yeah, sure, I'll wipe that. But like, I do it on it. For me, stuff, it's a rule. Really like, much. for me, it's I will do everything. Yeah. Even yeah. what the lengths I will go to. You know the part on the weights where, like, if it's a machine, you pull it out and you put it into whatever weight like you want to use. Pen you need. Yeah. I will wipe down the pen. Wow. I guess Definitely. it's I, I wipe down like the treadmill like where my hands touch it, but I don't wipe down weights, which I think is weird. Me neither. Yeah. Like I retroactively, I think that's Do you wipe weird. down weights? No weights. Well, like anything I'll sit on it. Like yeah, I will, anything yeah. I sit on. Your hands though, that's the only part that's direct skin contact. Other hands right. with everything, but, but my hands aren't that dumbbells. dirty. Yeah, but you're still sweating. You're at the gym. Like yeah. you're holding on to it, right? My hands aren't that sweaty. Yeah, I that, still think it's, it's more like my butter back. Like, for me, it's not even for sweat. It's just like I think it's just a yeah. courtesy thing. For the people. only thing that I would like get disturbed at the gym is just like people doing things so atrociously wrong. I know they're in pain and yep. they have to mm. be, and yet they're like, "No, this is the way you do." Well, it. I think there's a big thing. Like, there's too many guys with a lot of egos, Ego and especially if you're at the gym, yeah. even more so. Yeah, who. They look at the weight number they're doing instead of going lower and starting from scratch, going with doing proper form. Yeah, they just want to keep pushing through. Yeah, the ego lift. Yeah. They they lift with their momentum and their ego instead of <laughs> they lift with their ego. <laughs> yeah, deep inside yeah. of them, it pulsates out. Yeah, I like last night. Even Jamie and I were at the gym and we watched some like two dudes that were actually quite big use their entire upper body to do curls because they were just oh, yeah. hinging at the hip and thrusting with their back to lift. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this isn't a back exercise, guys. I'm pretty sure it's a bicep exercise. Right. But to them, it was a whole body thing. Like, that was those are my pet peeves. It's just like people being complete idiots. And there's no way they can't tell they're being idiots and they just mm. do it anyway. The one that also gets me there, I also had written down here, is friggin' people who use multiple machines at once. Yeah, that was the only other one yeah. I was gonna say. That drives me fucking insane, where it's like, okay, say you're gonna do something, a routine that's gonna take, like, that's a dog barking. You probably if can't hear people that. People happen to hear that. Um, yeah, the, uh, oh. oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, people who... <laughs> when I begin... <laughs> give my thought again. People say, say they have something that's gonna take five minutes, right? Mm. On a machine... They'll do three different machines at once, rotating through them. And I don't think they realize not only are you holding up three machines, it's not even for that five minute period. It's 15 minutes of three machines at once. Yeah. Which drives me fucking insane. Because you'll yeah. be at like, I go to a smaller gym and I do that because there's less people. Yeah. And so even if there's less choices for equipment, less people using them. So usually there isn't something happening. You get one person there doing that and it can fuck up your entire routine of just yeah. like now I have to wait 15 whole minutes to use the next thing. Which, yeah, drives me crazy for that. I'm usually counting so high at the gym that I have to focus on that and not <laughs> anything around me. Oh, yeah? How high do you count? Like, 102, 100. He's counting the number wow. of seconds. He's 10. 110. And what's this for? Just how many reps I'm doing. Of what? Just like anything, really. Oh, of anything? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the weights don't go high Explain enough. Explain for the audio listeners what, that, what, what you were just doing there. I'm just moving my arms. Moving your arms. Get Almost my arms like going. a bicep curl. Almost like a yeah. bicep curl, but a little bit more rhythm to it. Like it's yeah. a dance. Yeah, because yeah, you get, a lot of wrist get into a flow, too. you know? Yeah. And you You're do really 110 of those. Maybe more. <laughs> Maybe more. And what kind of he weight? He doesn't know he can't count that high. Just weights? No, but what kind of weight? Also 110? Like no, 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 no. But I mean, quantity oh, of quantity of weight. Like medicine. two of them, one in each hand. <laughs> <laughs> how heavy are these weights no he's doing pretty two heavy. weights pretty <laughs> heavy okay i'm better with that We're one closer. weight two weight how can we get him there um what's, what's the, the number what number weight? yeah what's the mass of each weight oh i don't know what's the number written on the weight I didn't the check. serial number <laughs> you didn't check. i just no. pick up whatever i can lift and then just go okay wow <laughs> you, can lift, you just go 110 if you can lift it once you can lift 110 times that's true yeah yeah it's like riding a bike you never forget. <laughs> you just gotta learn. Yeah, again, Ryan's a fast learner. That's His muscles are learning, learning so to fast. be stronger. Yeah. My mom has the little three pound weights that I'm just curious what they do. Trust me, they Anything? weigh three pounds. 
Okay, I will give people the benefit of the doubt with those because there are. Wh- I will use a twelve pound weight at the gym for certain exercises. Yeah. So it's actually, usually yeah. your shoulder ones, but there, um, your mid and lower trap can only get activated if you lose use extremely light weights. When I went to physio for it, if I held a two and a half pound weight, I would immediately start overcompensating with my upper trap and couldn't use the lower. So I had to do just the body weight of my arm. See, we say so, like this, there are certain muscles you. We say this have to use again. I get for moms, for. they do it yeah. for bicep curls. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I mean, there's that too. Yeah, <laughs> like but again. Like, like it does help uh, power okay yeah, I mean, you I've heard do, yeah. for that because you i've heard people with like ankle weights right yeah yeah um for my mom i feel like that's something she would have to use because like you build up past that pretty quickly yeah um which is why i wonder how useful it is to actually own those if you stick with it because i feel like yeah. most people even you get to 10 and then that's eventually you move up from there yeah if you have to right um i see them a lot of time on the uh the old VHS workout tapes. Yeah. Well, they use them a lot. See, yeah. That's the thing is that integrating might... them to like aerobics or something. That's pretty yeah. common, right? Yeah. I like it front, yeah. yeah. Cause I remember even in swimming, like we weren't using much weight, but idea. when I was in it, we would, um, weighted yoga. We would tie a, like, y- <laughs> like a plate around our waist and then yeah. swim like that sometimes, which you can't use something that heavy for that. Right. But yeah. Yeah. You now we're just talking about other kinds of weights, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> we got really far from pet peeves, didn't we? Yeah, as far as yeah. pet peeves go, let's get back to that. Uh, yeah. Do you? Oh, I have lots of pet peeves. You have lots. <laughs> you ready uh, to air them? Um. Yeah. I'll, I'll. I won't. I won't divulge in all of them. But oh, I do have we'll some get deeper in as we build our anger. Up. Right. 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 Okay. I was pretty frustrated there for a little bit. Yeah. yeah oh I could, yeah. I was more into this topic than I expected. Uh. <laughs> I feel like a lot of mine are restaurant based, which mm-hmm. maybe you might not know, but. I work in a restaurant, and so I have to deal with a lot of really annoying people. Yeah. Um, what kinds of people are most annoying most often? Just so those people can feel um, called out and work on it. <laughs> mostly, like, really rich white people. Okay. Like, yesterday, this guy came in, and he, our restaurant has four booths, and everything else is just regular tables. And these booths are so desirable that people call in and request them when they're making reservations, which is all good and fun. Uh, and then this guy walked in and he didn't have a reservation. He's like, I'd like a booth, please. And I told him, I'm sorry. They've all been specifically requested for the evening. And he goes, oh, well, let's talk about it a little bit more and then let me know what you think. And I'm just like, well, <laughs> nope, I'm not going to do that. They've been requested. And he's like, why don't you think about it a little bit more? And he's like, oh, I was like, oh, I've thought about it and just like walked off because I don't have time for people being super passive aggressive and annoying. Wow. Yeah, I don't have any. Like I, my last day at the restaurant is next Saturday. Yeah. So th- I'm so checked out that I've just by been so passive aggressive. By the time this airs, you'll be done. But yeah, by the time this airs, I'll be done. So you can say anything. So I can say whatever. Yeah, actually, you can't say anything. Yeah, you want to that's air true. Any grievances <laughs> you have with that industry, there is no consequences anymore. I won't. I won't say any names. This is kind of away from pet peeves and just like annoying oh, rich that's people. What, I'm very much okay with that. <laughs> uh, annoying rich people. So the the last event that I'm working is every, like this really rich, prominent family of the area throws a Christmas party every year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they basically just hire the entire hotel to come work it. And it's at their rich gross house in the in an area of Halifax. Yep. Won't say which area. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you drive around long enough, you'll probably spot it. <laughs> uh, I remember I was working it last year and my job was to bring hors d'oeuvres directly to Mrs. Um, Finster. Uh, we're, okay. sticking oh, we're sticking with Finster. Different okay. than the teacher, mm. but still an annoying woman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just like Miss Finster? And yeah. And so I think, was I talking about Schitt's Creek earlier? Yeah, I was. Mm-hmm. This is the woman that I did the character study on based on oh. Moira from Schitt's Creek because okay. she's crazy. Um, and basically you just don't want to say anything in front of her, but I kept bringing food directly to her. And so the people that are around her like recognized me and they were like, can we have your name? Like you keep bringing us food. Thank you. And so I, I opened my mouth to speak and immediately I just felt like, lasers or like i don't know she was gonna rip me apart and immediately i was just like i'm not gonna talk they want the help to be quiet they want the help to be quiet good lord yeah oh my god i was gonna say before when i was asking what kind of people because you mentioned doctors are nice doctors are very nice business business men are very nice because their like whole thing is not business women that's just out of yeah. curiosity because you emphasize um, men at the end of she business. Had a boo in. B- business men specifically, okay. middle aged women are the worst. Yeah, I would so expect that. The worst. When you say businessmen are the best, are you just like sucking up to us? Yeah. We're, we're oh, yes, business. you're important businessmen. Well, right? she's also mentioned engineers are very rude. Yes, engineers are the worst. <laughs> I'm very rude. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> they're not rude. They're <laughs> just they clueless. We're very aware of that. Oh, we're just that, clueless. You are true. That, like, yeah, that, you are true. You are facts. You are facts. <laughs> they're. 
Yeah. yeah, they're really demeaning. You're not going to hurt my feelings. They're like, very I demeaning. Are pretty bad. I remember there was one time there was a group of engineers and my old coworker, she doesn't work there anymore. She works mm -hmm. elsewhere, but she is married to an engineer and went to an engineering party uh, and they were going around the circle like asking all the wives what they do for their profession and all of them were uh. saying it out loud. Uh, and my friend uh, was just like, oh, I work in a restaurant, one of like the nicest in the city. And they're just like, but it was funny because right before they asked her, they asked another woman and she was like, oh, I'm actually between jobs right now. And then they said, well, at least you're not working in a restaurant. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. So uh. that's the God. experience that I have with engineers. Because even back yeah. to where you were saying before, like, I fucking hate that about people where so much shit is beneath them, like these yeah. rich people. And even for me, it's always so fucking funny because, like, you're still in fucking Halifax. Yeah. Like, you're yeah. a big fish in a small pond still, yeah. right? Yeah. And where you get, like, like, some... medium fish. They don't even, like, big. To put it in context... <laughs> That's what I mean, though, right? Yeah. To put it in context, the people that I'm talking about have, like, $500 million. Oh, never mind. Okay, That's okay. a lot fair. of money. That's fair. Yeah. Um... But with like, and why are they here? <laughs> that's again, uh, because like, they, they, have rich, be here they can be rich because they can yeah. be rich here. If they go to Toronto, they won't be able to thrive. But here they can because yeah. they've they made they could live for the themselves. rest of their life off five hundred thousand dollars. Oh, for five hundred million. Oh wait, I heard, <laughs> I, I heard million. Even though you okay, said yeah, thousand, yeah. yeah, like or I acknowledged million. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I did okay, too. Never mind. Huh? Yep. Um, yep. Yeah, we can talk about it later why yeah, very. There's a very specific reason. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with a. Uh, that guy that came into the restaurant and he said, let's talk about it. Mm. I fucking hate these fucking business people that get rich and like, they think of every interaction as a business thing. Chad, get down. <laughs> Sorry. Is she not allowed up there? No, she's fine. Oh. Oh, your beer. Is that why you're worried? Uh, no, nothing of mine is up there. Okay. It's just dirty. <laughs> Unsanitary. <laughs> um, yeah, for me, it's that thing of like, they come in and that a guy, like, you can tell... Because of business, like, when people talk like that, it's a money thing, right? Yeah. Like, he just assumes because he has money, he could talk other people out of their reservation. Yeah. Did you try to slip you money? Uh, I walked away. <laughs> you tried I to find your pocket and shove it in there? Has anyone done that? Oh, yeah. Go right ahead. Uh, I sweet. didn't have any time for it. I, I told him I was... Most people would be, like, apologetic, but I... Again, I've been doing this for seven years. I'm mm. just kind of like, nope. So you're trying to bribe you can't, yeah. Seven years. I old. think he would have gotten to it. I think he'd be mm -hmm. like, we can talk about it. We can make something work, Great. right? Were you in grade 10 or 11 when you started? 11. 11, okay. Yeah. 2012 is when I started. Okay. Well, so yeah, it's been so long. Yeah. That's what I've said to people. It's like the entire time I've known you've pretty much been working a full-time job on top of school. Yeah. It's exhausting. Yeah, which is nuts. Yeah. yeah. So it's just nice when people are awful yeah. to make it. Less awful. And I slayed the cat, so she's gone now. She's I feel like we'll still hear more like pet peeves related to yeah restaurant ones as they come out. Uh, do you have any Ryan or Taylor? We, I've still got more for sure. I thought of one when Taylor before you came. We were talking. I about. Say, I was it because one, we were late? <laughs> <laughs> I were to say I thought of one while Taylor was talking. As we were about to say. <laughs> no, you ever see the movie Arrival? Uh, is no. It the, is it the space one? With the space. Yeah. With yeah. The, Amy yeah. Adams. I'm trying to learn Amy the Adams. Adams yeah, and yeah, yeah. Jeremy Ryan. I haven't language. seen it, but I've heard of it. Yeah. Uh, I feel like yeah. We didn't go to that movie. Yeah. No, I've saw. only ever seen it. <laughs> it, it happens a lot in there where they're like trying to figure something out. They use fake science. No, and then one of the main characters is like, yeah. yeah. They say like one or two words that have no meaning without context, and then the other character's like, what? And then oh, like, the what? Say, yeah, I know what you're talking and about. And then yeah. they're like, what? And then they like explain it. But yeah. it's like, why even start The off script by, is like, written so the person asks, what are you talking about? So they can explain yeah. it. Yeah. Right. I fucking hate They it. do that for dramatic stuff so often. They did often. that like three times. It's a big movie, trope. And I hate it. It's a it. huge trope. Yeah. Of, like asking something, per saying something purposely vague so the person will ask you mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 That's a good Dumb. one. Yeah. That, uh, that's all I really can think of. That's the only one that you can think of so Usually far? Usually they come up on a... Whenever they come up on those, them, but I can't really think of pet peeves. My peeve. biggest pet peeve is, uh, restaurants aside, is people who don't... Uh, what, what did the, how did I explain it to you? the time one earlier. It was people who... I think I wrote it down. It's something... Because we both had two related to time. Oh, wait. No respect for other people's time. Yes. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. So... I feel like that's a gift. Yeah, like yesterday, yesterday I was called into work at, or I was supposed to work at like 11 or whatever, and I don't have a car anymore, so I was busing and I was ferrying over to Halifax, which is all because good. common folk. Common folk, yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to be, don't put me in that category. <laughs> I, I can't afford a car, 
<laughs> you choose <laughs> not to. not to have one. <laughs> but that basically joke what is- happened is I got, to, I got to Halifax and my boss called me and was just like, oh yeah, I scheduled too many people. Can you not come in? And I was just like, hmm. okay. So it was like two hours because I didn't want to like bum around Halifax for like six hours before I had to be back in in the evening. So I just went home and it was like two hours before I got home after i'd left so mm. that was annoying yeah for me the one with time is uh how it he- keeps going forward yeah that one's like- awful <laughs> um, <laughs> where uh happened? people who exaggerate it the one the example that i see the most is like i remember specifically it was gta 5 it was a year and a half after it came out and this dude online was like i can't believe it's been three years it's like dude you round it up and then added a year <laughs> onto that shit and that yeah. drives me fucking insane And it happens a lot with people trying to be nostalgic of, Mm. I can't believe it's been this many years since this thing came out. And they round up by sometimes a year and a half, two years. Like people are like, it's almost been a decade since this thing. It's like, no, it's been six. We're closer to five than to 10. Yeah. Those two drive me fucking insane. Uh, People who any of the, like it it goes either way as well. Someone who says it only took me this long to do this and it took way fucking longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are both ones that drive me insane. I don't know what it is, but that that's like as far as like the other ones, of course, the people are doing something wrong most of the time for what we've said. Yeah. That's when that's a straight up pet peeve of just like it bugs me to a point of I want to say a natural. That's not the word of uh, a, like a logical. What, what's the word I'm trying to think of? You know where someone has like right. a different thing, but the word in front of fear, like a fear that doesn't make sense. Irrational. 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 It's irrational how much it bugs me. Yeah. 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 My yeah, thing was like when I did have a car, I'd drive people everywhere and went, don't worry, it's not directed at you. You were always good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would just have to wait outside their house for way too long. I, get I remember that. driving people to school specifically. Like you have to be there on time. About, yeah. You know who I'm talking yeah. about. Uh, you would just wait outside their house and they would like come strolling out like 15 minutes after you've been waiting there. And you're going to school. You both yeah. have the same start time. Exactly. And then like we wouldn't be in the same classes. So I'd have to drop them off at their building and then go to mine. Yeah, it was a nightmare. Oh, so I hated Dow that. Too. This was Dal. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of high school. Probably the same person, even if it yeah. was high school. Yeah. <laughs> I, I <know> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 My, I think if I had one, it would just be like a general rule where, if anyone does any like thing and then goes out of the way to do something, and it's specifically for other people to see yeah. them in a different light, like yes, some for someone who they aren't. Yeah. It's just very annoying. So you could rule in uh, what you said about at the gym, the people ego lifting. Mm. Pe- they want everyone else there. It's not for them. It's obviously not for exercise because they're going to hurt themselves. I think it sometimes it's just is for, for themselves, though. Or, or maybe it's a bit for themselves, but, I think but it's, it's but for I the think visual the way, of, like, I think if they were home and working out in a home gym, they wouldn't do that. But I, I think. the way I might disagree you know? is that, not that you, I think, I agree with you. Yeah. I think, though... It's because they have friends like that, and they're yeah. comparing numbers to what their friends say they do. Exactly. So I think they're, they're tricking it, they're themselves. They're not doing it for them. Yeah, they're but that's why I meant that. Even if there's not someone around watching, I think yeah. they're still trying to trick themselves. Yeah. So, so like, the reason why, like, vaping is getting super popular, it is a, hey, look, this isn't a dangerous version of smoking, and you look cool when you smoke, right? Mm-hmm. So let's do this so other people think you I look cool. You do look cool, cool when you like, smoke. Let's yeah, not get do. that wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're completely right. Smoking looks really cool. It does. Um, yeah. But... It like sucks that it's not a uh, yeah. Okay it's not good yeah, for you. It's terrible. <laughs> I had a um, doctor, a group of doctors, into the restaurant one time <laughs> the other day, yeah. and they said they would rather have their kids smoke than like smoke a cigarette than a vape. Really? Yeah, because they vapes probably are heard that horrible thing, for you. Okay, yeah, but they probably smoking. heard that thing about the like the flavor stuff being off, right? They're, oh, both maybe. are just awful for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah these were like respiratory also, doctors. Also, at the very least, oh. like. It's so harsh. I feel like it'd be a lot easier to try to quit something that makes you feel so awful than something that doesn't really make you feel that yeah. bad, but actually is really well, horrible. Well, my friend you. quit smoking by substituting it with vapes. Yeah, that's which how is, I first heard of it. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is good, but is My friend... Maybe I should say this one. <laughs> oh. Say it. Don't. I won't. Say it. I don't think the person will listen, but yeah. I shouldn't. You can always cut it out if you don't want it. Like, no, no, no. That's why, that's why like, I'm yeah. very aware of what it is. Like, yeah. it's not string line. I was about to very much straight up call someone out. Um, <laughs> I'm right here. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it, man. Um, I'm never going to actually listen to this podcast. Jamie said for uh, his so New Year's going to be <laughs> unaware. Jamie said for his New Year's resolution, he's going to take up smoking because he thinks it looks cool. Jamie? Yeah, he was, he was cool. joking. Yeah. Jamie's a friend of ours and that... Yeah. 
Think of Does like wearing smoke. a leather jacket. No, no, no you wouldn't. There's the background on Jamie. Um, <laughs> None of us do. No. Um, but I think what Ryan. you have to do is you have to hold the cigarette like really far from your Gee. face. Yeah. And then like move into it every yeah. time. Like yeah. that. What is it? You like hold the cigarette really far oh. from your face, but then you move into it. And then that's how you smoke it. See, you have to wiggle I was trying to do it. While you guys <laughs> were talking, it. I was thinking about like, is there a form of smoking that doesn't look cool in a different way because like you look at a pipe it's like old-fashioned cool like you picture yeah. someone with a monocle like mr peanut he's got the one, <laughs> one foot up on his knees like smoking the pipe or you've got the cigar which is similar right yeah but slightly different um you've got cigarettes if the person's like dramatic and french and it's raining mm. then yeah. the cigarette's gonna look cool right? and then the long like thing like what's her name from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Like oh, oh, yeah, that. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, she probably has the same one. Yeah, is, is yeah. it the long, like... The long, skinny yeah. thing that, you, like, you yeah. do this with it? This is... This is, like, you hold... You, like, you're holding a... <laughs> a wine glass, kind <laughs> no, of? That's not what I was going to say, no. but sure. Oh, sorry, what were you going to say? I'm not going... It, like, this is rated PG-13. You can oh, who is <laughs> <was> not aware <laughs> like this? <laughs> like cupping it. <laughs> like cupping something. Oh, cupping. I thought that was not cupping. I thought that was... No, like... Cause you aggressively. Hold it like, you hold it I like this. The, I got the wrist position wrong. Okay, you're holding it like this. Yes, now I get... Now I get... All right. So I have I a smoking story from our deputy mayor that I remember... I'm Who's our sure deputy mayor? Are you sh- supposed... Should move. you be telling us? It's not about him. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't yeah. think that... It, no. Uh, so, yeah. So he just told me one time that he used to have a friend who was a marathon runner. And at the end of his marathons, he was super good, would light a cigarette, but not smoke it, but look like he was smoking it after just as like a big, like, fuck you to mess with people being like, I beat you and I'm smoking right oh, here. And you hated it. But he wouldn't do it. He would just light it and kind of <laughs> hold it there and like hold it near his mouth every once in a while because he didn't actually smoke. But it was just to screw with people. But it made him look cool. Damn it right. looks it makes you look cool. It made fun. him look really cool. Not only did he beat those people, he looked cool. See, I was thinking like we're in we're on episode three, and I wonder how, yeah. if we've alienated anyone by mm. talking about how cool smoking looks, <laughs> uh, but also like calling people out on a bunch of pet peeves that they might be doing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is just it, like an educational, like it's it's all to make people better. But if we let's keep going, just so it we can educational. try and get uh, as many people as possible called out. All right, let's yeah. go. Um, okay. One for me was slow walkers on the sidewalk. Slow walkers, yeah. yeah. Yep. People you mm. fucking get behind that just they have one, nowhere to be for some reason, and they walk side yeah, by side with their somewhere. friends. Yeah, they take up the whole sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I hate that. Yeah, drives me but insane. Oh, I the can one tell that, Shauna. The one that really pisses me off is like. People who do it with their kids and like for me it was I was out going for a run the other day and I was like walking um to where I was gonna go and the there was this mom walking by with her two kids and one kid was like jumping around in the slush, right, having fun. It's fine, it's a kid. Yeah, that's what it's gonna say. Like he's having fun. Like I don't blame this kid, but she should have been like, Oh, look out, there's a man coming mm-hmm. by, right? A man. <laughs> they, that's the thing that I've been he's struggling. legally a man that's what I've been struggling with is like every so often calling yourself a man <laughs> <laughs> yes kind of kind of you know with like uh, where when we were younger would they call us boy like, boy <laughs> when we were boy. When, when we were like 17 would, would they call us guys. boy or would they call us I would no, call no, you no, a boy like, at 17 yeah that's what I'm saying uh-huh. though like someone, I still boy. I still call you guys boys I hope for me it's very boy. specifically the stranger the stranger coming by right. do they refer to you as Look out for the boy coming by. Yeah, that boy. Or do no, they say look out for the I, man I've heard by? strangers refer to me as man. That's what yeah. I was talking about. Like, mm. that's what I'm still confused of. The first time I heard it, I was like, oh, that's fucking weird. But people don't say watch out for the woman that's coming by. People they don't do say, say man say coming by. They say man, I think. But they don't they say, say woman. What do they say? I think they say man because you well, hear yeah, man and you assume camera. some big... Big guy? Big dude. I feel like if it's like watch out for the woman, it's going to be like some woman strutting. Oh, watch out for the woman. Watch out for the woman. Whereas, yeah, the man, they're thinking, like, because that's big when you taught stranger danger, they're taught you. Oh, tilted work. See, sorry, I have the microphone tilted away from my mouth oh my because God. it's covered in a sock. I think I caught that. Great. <laughs> yeah. But beforehand, I was sounding all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can work on it still. Um, yeah, the. Uh, when they, they're talking about stranger danger, it's like kick them between the legs, right? It's very yeah. clearly they're talking about men. So that's you cool. hear, they say, look out for the man. I think there's a sense of like. Fear. Yeah. Fear they're trying to instill in their children. Here is this bear that's shaved that is coming through. That is a Pretty man. much, yeah. And that's why it was weird the first time I heard it, because that's still in my head. Of the what, animal version of a tank. A stranger man. described as a man. I still assume big burly dude, right? Yeah. Well, you're, you're burly. Sure. You're mm-hmm. kind of big. Sure. Scary. You're and definitely scary. scary. You're very intimidating. Um, Harry. 
Am I? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Um, but yeah, with the, uh, people walking by, yeah, like, yeah. it bugs me with the, you like that big, ah, uh. um, <laughs> yeah, it drove me crazy, drove me crazy, because it's like, am I supposed, like, the roads were covered in ice, it's like, am I supposed to literally step off the sidewalk, like, yeah, the mom didn't move, push him out of the way, hurt the kid, both of them, I see, I can't kick the kid, kid's having fun, mm. see, what I, do- I respect the kid, it's like, yeah, I, I I'm happy someone's enjoying the slush on the ground, yeah, what I do understand with stuff like that is like, how do you have somewhere to be, but walk like you don't have somewhere to be, mm. do they like, you know what I mean, buy like they're walking somewhere, doesn't matter when clearly I get there. they're going somewhere, yeah, well, what did you leave, they're going to 30 minutes spot. advance for a 10 minute walk, like, why are you walking could be. so they're going to the store, and it doesn't matter when they get there, but don't you want to like, don't Get you have back. things to do? Like, yeah, I feel wouldn't like you rather be not relaxing than walking to the store? Yeah. This is my conspiracy no. theory. Is like, But who enjoys walking to, to the do. store? Some people are straight up NPCs. They're just extra they're characters meant to be in games. There. Yeah, they're just meant to be there. They're It'll be nothing other there. than the background character who adds in some dialogue. Yeah, they've got slow. nowhere to be. They're just going to walk nice and slow. Like, I don't know. I don't get that. God, this. Uh, fingerprint sensor my phone is not working oh i have another pet peeve yeah i just it was on my notes messy (laughs) eaters oh am i a messy eater you're not a messy eater you're just a fast eater yeah you've so i've criticized him because you you have finished after you you now so i like i i don't like when you're out to dinner with someone and they finish this is just you started looking right at me it's all about cameron i just i can't look this way because of the mic yeah Yeah, um this is only about him (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> when you go out to dinner with someone and then they're finished eating like before you're halfway done and then you're just eating and they're sitting there watching you. Yes. Okay. I, yeah. You made that very. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know I don't like you that. You beat it out of me while we were in Toronto. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, uh, but then another thing is like when you're eating, this isn't, don't worry, this is not about you. But like when you're eating with someone and they're just so messy, them. they're so messy that like things are flying oh, everywhere. There's this someone you brought this up about not like within the past year and I can't remember who it was. It's Ryan. No, it's, I think like there is one person that, that comes to mind, but I, I won't say. We're not going to call, gonna call him out. But <laughs> him. I just remember okay. like they, they, they. St- I said, did I say him or them? I thought you said him. I we said all know them. it's your dad. No, it's not my dad. <laughs> them. I'm not going to call them out, but they just talk with their mouths open while they're still talking. Or wait, they're yeah when they're eating. And you can just see everything. I hate in their that. Teeth. That would make me sick as a kid. Yeah. And it would like fly out. Sometimes I'd get like food to the face. That was all. Oh, you have gotten yeah, food I've gotten food to the face. It was uh, bad. yeah. I'll give you a hand. Catch it was someone that we would eat lunch with at high school. You don't have to give. It yeah, uh, I'll ask after. <laughs> I am like, yeah. I am like, uh, we're really pushing the edge of like, Saying we need it, people. Right? We want people to listen to the podcast, so it's like, hey, we haven't told many of our friends about it yet, but we will, and I hope they get to this one. It's just all of them really feel us. If that ever happens, again, just open them. your mouth and catch some. I Free food. I, literally yeah. when I'm eating with this person, I can't look at them. I'll make sure that I'm when we're if we're around a table, I'll be so I'll be like, not a, a, like not across from them, Ryan, so I don't Ryan, see it. Just Ryan. Thinking, anyone who's ever eaten with you is. Gonna, I know that's <laughs> fine. Really I mean, I questioned it. <laughs> no, it's not you. You're yeah. fine. You you cover your mouth when you eat. It's not you. Uh, yeah, because again, like I guess he's sick ashamed as a he's kid eating. He's ashamed he's eating. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I will always talk. Uh, probably bad for people. Don't do that <laughs> in front of the mic. <laughs> well, then you, my, you do the thing where you don't know how to chew. You yeah, don't you had, bite had down on. I had to chew. teach him how to chew. <laughs> he swallows because a whole. he would just no. He would. He would like. He was like the reason I eat it so fast is because if you don't just shove it all into your mouth, like it, things fall apart. And I'm like, no, just use like your molars, like what, grind what do you things mean, down. Things fall like, apart. Say, say, what were you eating? Was what it, like, it was wrap? was like it was butting through something. She taught me. I did not. I. He I would swear. Just, he would. All she he would, taught <laughs> me that you bite down and then you move your jaw back and forth to she cut through it. Apart. Like you can use your, you can I mean, use I just your bite. job. I don't grind. No, but he would just like, she, he would bite like, down and then let go. And then whatever wasn't taking, coming with him, it would get, it would like fall on his plate or whatever. And, and he, so that's why he likes to just eat really quickly. Yeah. But I taught him that you can, you can use your molars to like grind things yeah, apart. And like, absolutely. and I think we talked about spinach specifically. Like when you're taking a bite out of something, I did not know you could do that. I thought it was. You didn't know you could chew. He didn't know he no, could no, chew. No, no, I, I knew about chewing. <laughs> I'm talking about when you took a bite out of something. Yeah. Like, you think, like, say you're eating a wrap that has spinach and chicken in it, and it's okay. just one long piece of chicken. Yeah. He just thought you had to bite down, bite up, and whatever came with it, 
was what he ate. It was what you ate. And so there's something hanging out. Then, like, you have to quickly eat so you swallow it so the rest can come with you as you pull back but from I taught him eating to the like bite out of something. Chew oh it. My God. I taught him to, like, basically, like, sever the piece that you yeah. want to by eat. By going back and forth. Going, I didn't like, realize. Your jaw and your I didn't realize how well that worked. It works. Because she taught me you bite down and while your mouth is closed, you move back and forth a little bit <laughs> and it cuts through the food a little bit better. I had to teach this I did person. not know that. And this was only like two, ago. this was only wow. like one or two so, years ago. What? Wow. This was only, this was recent. This was, yeah, last September. Yeah. The year was wow. 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, wilderness <laughs> man who I, eats like I an did animal not know. who thinks See, this for me, is going to be See, for me, I would have thought that that sounds like grinding your teeth. What else do you think is But you're normal? not grinding your teeth together. <laughs> yeah, I know, but this is like, that's why that motion in my head, that was a no-no motion. That was a no-no <laughs> no, no, no. motion. A notion. A notion? A notion? Yeah. Um, what normal things do you do that is also odd? Like, what do you do when you I, bathe? Like, explain that process now. Is there anything do you to do weird around? when I bathe? Um, do you soap? This one was, uh, this isn't related to bathing, but this is related to ways I eat. I eat each item on a plate individually at a time. I used to do this as a kid and I don't do that anymore. For me, it's the thing of like, do I don't. Do? Like, eat one item to I mean, like, say you were eating something that was like, I'm yeah. trying to think like, what say you stir had. Pie? Oh, mix them together. For me, I'm talking about like, you have on a plate separate, distinctly separate items, like a yeah. salad and a thing of say yeah you get potatoes you pasta get potato yeah. salad and chicken my friend matt taught me that he takes a couple bites of one takes a couple, he goes that. in a circle yeah i don't do that because i don't like for me it's like i will happily mix everything together on a plate if i think they me- if they meld well together like if i'm eating at a chinese food restaurant right that's a better yeah. example yeah it's like oh yeah i'll mix the rice and with the other stuff and then yeah. it just all tastes good together i might focus on one but yeah. i know why you do this you do this because you don't eat to enjoy you eat to like get su- sustenance no i do you enjoy just it. shove it in your mouth i 100 percent enjoy it <laughs> how would you know it's not in there long enough for you to taste so okay yeah, exactly. taylor you should know why you've watched corner gas right yeah do you remember the episode with brent when he's eating those hot dogs in that contest I, re- I remember Lacey that that thought episode. she could eat them really like she thought she was a great like speed eater or whatever yeah, they're called yeah and she could beat Brent. And so Brent and her go head to head in this competition, this eating this. competition. Yeah. Davis makes the food. And then he, after they finish, um, Brent destroys her, right? Yeah. And he's like, oh, did you guys enjoy them? And she's like, oh, sorry, I was eating so fast I can taste them. And he was all disappointed. And Brent was like, oh, no. Like, he described to a T exactly <laughs> what he was tasting. Yeah. Speed doesn't affect it. <laughs> Speed doesn't affect it. It affected Lacey's, clearly. It affected her. But yeah. so, she, so don't say she was not can't she was can. she was not someone that ate quickly normally she learned how to do it he was born into it and he knows that's how he was gonna, born into he was born into, yeah <laughs> so he knows he knows he, he's adapted to it okay okay yeah you guys have any others um, i have one i had some i don't remember anymore so. actually i may have mentioned that one <laughs> sorry i did it's mention good, all of mine all of my big ones all of your big ones i can't think of any more substantial ones just is there anyone uh, that we're friends with that we just want to call out then um, um, um hmm. steve buscemi we're not friends then uh oh shoot. <laughs> okay i won't call him out then no all right because uh if that's it then jeez i can't believe how long that that was faster than i thought it would be um oh i'm saying faster i mean actual time like we yeah, took yeah. Longer time than flies dude. yeah um yeah, which means we're moving on to our last segment, which is once again the Fancy Wolf Hall of Fame. Yeah. Which is each oh. week where we get together and we choose an item, a person, a thing, pretty much like a noun. Could be a word, a feeling, a thought. <laughs> and I was going to say, I really, you, I was glad you broadened that. That's what I was trying to say. It's like <laughs> literally anything that you can quantify in some form. And the person that brings it to the table argues it, and the majority has to vote. On whether it gets in, they count. They also get a vote in it, so that if it's three of us, two people have to vote it in, including themselves. If it's the four of us right now, he has to convince at least two of us to. My heart's racing. I'm so excited. Yep. So wow. so far in there, we have. I get in the game. Emily is away. Yeah. Ryan pitched briefcases, and that did not get in. <laughs> that was very. I pitched clouds, didn't get it in, and you pitched watermelon. watermelon. Those were on episodes though that we had to trash because of uh, technical issues. Right. Yeah. They were trash. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. So, my Hall of Fame nominee, or whatever you want to call it, is British people. Oh, no. 
Uh, you lost okay, me. in my head, we were still on the pet peeves topic, and I was like, no, 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 British people. Okay. So they're always the smart ones in movies because their accents sound so cool. They're sound, they sound really proper and rad. Um, they have cool slang like knackered and collie wobbles. Um, I think you made up that last one. <laughs> no, those are real words. I looked them up. Um, also, Emma Watson. So. That's my pitch. See, I can't stand the sound of a British accent. Really? Well, I right. think it sounds like you have peanut butter in your mouth. What about... So shit, did, that's did, the proper I was going to ask you, in Harry English. Potter, does it bug you? In Harry Potter, it's fine because it's so posh and proper. Yeah. But I'm thinking about like... That's what I'm talking about. But, okay, that's one accent of so many accents. Yeah, well... I had a group of people at oh, the so restaurant the that had like... Again. Like, had... Um, Essex accents. Have you ever ever heard an Essex accent? Maybe. I don't know. It's I don't know what that calling is. Calling more groups. <laughs> I'm calling out more groups. I hope you're all right with me. <laughs> no. Yeah, you know all our... Okay, if you're thinking like Emma Watson's accent, yeah, it's cute. Yeah. But other British... Think of like Northern England. So he pitches it here. Our, like, our, it's yours, our right? view on the world <laughs> is a lot smaller than yours. So when he says yeah. it, I only picture Harry Potter. Accent. Thank you. Okay, I have I no think, context yeah. for picture any like, I think it like Northern England. That's like Game of Thrones. Like why? So I love like, those. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. Jon Snow's accent. Would you want someone to talk like that to you though? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I picture like uh, if it's it, it, if it's it depends on their voice because some of them are bad people. But if it's one of the good guys on the show, I like their voices. They what, choose was, good, good. what was it again specifically? <laughs> Sorry, British people. All right, not British oh, accent. Not even. Oh, oh wait, did I? Uh, thank you, right? thank you. That's oh, a very good. You're point. only judging them based on their was, voice. Mm-hmm. I the voices I was all in. I mm. kind of well for the people. So I was specifically going towards their accents because all my points were their accents. Again, though, so Ryan yeah. made a good point. This is the cloud thing all over again. If you have been more specific, I agree. Right. Okay. I, I should have said accents. I think. Ooh. Yeah. And I feel like all the Brits have like a stiff upper upper lip. So I like, why do you want point that? Hey, they have I'm, queens, and kings, and princes. Yeah, but and why all do you that, want that? Which I'm super against. I, yeah, but it sounds cool. It sounds um, cool, but sure. I'm against that they it's still a waste have of money. it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think anyone should be born into power. Cameron? And if their positions don't mean anything, we shouldn't be spending that much money on it. Or are, are you going to vote no it? to Emma Watson? Now we're debating the monarchy. I'm voting <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Well, he said British people. Now I'm thinking like, yeah, we bring everything with it. If you oh had, about, like, my the queen. god! <laughs> and I was I was all in. I, I was, know you were. But this again, was tailored he, towards. But me. I'm trying to take. That's why I'm trying to take my bias out of it. Because I know when you mentioned Emma Watson, it's like ah, Taylor's speaking directly to me. Yes. Um, Think of how many murderers are included in this. What are you? <laughs> that's a good point. About, like that reminds me of a good point because we're not even talking about per capita. But if you talk huh? about British people as a whole, some British people are murderers. <laughs> what? Yep. <laughs> It's true. I meant more like the idea of them, like a caricature version of British people. You not should have said that. Should have said that. <laughs> I agree. British people. I didn't as a say whole. evaluate the every single British person ever. Did you know Voldemort hope- was <laughs> Voldemort was British? Well, this isn't fair. You guys are bringing in your own biases with all those different accents. No, but we're bringing up points. We're yeah, bringing but you're bringing up British points. people. You have to take into account every British person. I'm going to take you down because of briefcases. Man, if he had just no. said accents, I would have been so in. Oh my god! I agree. But I'm trying to think. Yeah, um, Ryan raised a great point. I was so Taylor. You have no idea how sold I was. I, I was know so, you were so. I was so you, on your you side. You can still be sold. You almost had it, but I don't want this segment to go on much longer. And I think it's very <laughs> funny that twice in a row <laughs> you were too vague. So I'm. That's a no for me, dog. <laughs> my god. <laughs> Anything else sad, dog? No, it was supposed to be focused on their accents, so my points are on their accents. Yeah, but do you, you want to talk about other stuff that I didn't bring you up? Didn't it's up say, to you didn't say, but you didn't say their accents is the issue. Yeah, you but you guys, people. the points you had against them were not my points, so that is your. You point. said no. their voices. Yeah, yeah. But and that's what we're saying is you can't. Okay, you brought up murderers. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan nothing raised, to do with ice. No, but it was very. Ryan made a good point. Is you said British people, and he's saying and the so, monarch. You brought. I didn't say anything to do with the monarch. You said kings and queens. Yeah, but uh, well. cool that they have <laughs> I think it's cool that they have kings and queens. I didn't bring up whether or not it's fair. And we don't think it's cool. It's cool that they have a oh, wow. Did you guys know that we can, uh, as Canadians, we can request like five photos of the queen for free? I did hear, but really, yeah, yeah. But you can't deface them, which is why I have not done it because I thought, like, yeah. oh yeah, I'll do that, and then whatever I do with them. Oh happen. yeah, I'm do sure they, they just send them. I mean, how will they ever know? Yeah, they just send them. I think so. Yeah. What? Yeah. Do they come with a letter? No, but it's that kind of thing of like. I could also just print them out. You can't point. deface money. Yeah, there's too many rules like, on this thing. Who fucking cares, you know? Oh, you deface money? No, no, no. <laughs> he, he draws mustaches on all of his dollar bills. 
Okay, well. Really, we'll have to talk more about this after. <laughs> All right, well, that was, um, I, I voted no. Are you I vote no. It's a no from Sorry, me, dog. <laughs> You're also no? Okay, well, uh, that means nothing has been inducted into our Hall of Fame. Taylor, uh, <laughs> zero for two. Um, but also, that is the end of our podcast. Uh, this has been Fancy Wolf's podcast, Important Business. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Play. There's a few other ones. If you have any others you would like us to be on or you have any questions for the show, you can contact us at important business at important business podcast at gmail.com. Or you can find me directly on Twitter at Cameron Ken. You can find Taylor at Real Boatmaster. Still haven't changed that. No. It's um, been literally a month now since we first recorded. I got a follow set. the other day. I don't know how. Was it me? No. Okay. Because uh, I did not follow you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why yeah. you asked, but yeah, I, I don't know how someone found out about it. You it's mentioned not linked it. to anything. Oh, that sometimes happens. Somebody, yeah, it's sometimes mentioned bots, it I on think the... just type in names or words or stuff. No, no, it's someone we know. I don't know how they found it. Oh. you mentioned it on the podcast. Yeah, I kind of doubt they. Did you link yeah. your phone number? I also got no, a follow. I no, I don't know so. from yeah. after the podcast. It's great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you did. I did. I got. Well, I got. But that's the thing is, I got follows, but I think only one was related to the podcast. But I didn't mention you guys in the tweet. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Do you yeah. have anything to plug? Um, no. No. Don't no, even. Don't follow me on Twitter. No? no. Do you even have a website? Like, uh, <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram. It's private, so I might not accept. Oh, I was gonna say more like Stu have... underscore Hannah. Okay. Do you have anything you just want to plug? Like, oh, go to this website to donate. Um, oh, donate. Um, yeah, you can plug anything you want. Fish donations. Yeah, like save the planet. Save the planet is what you're plugging? Tree. Yeah. Planet Hannah's tree. plugging the sure. planet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, you can find us on all those services. We're also on YouTube and video form, which is the easiest to get to at fancywolf.com. But oh, wait, my, my panel, Twitter is wait. at Real Joke Man. Oh, sorry. I was about to skip you. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Oh, that's I, it. I should have been reading the script for this one. But Go yeah. Ahead. Keep going. Uh, What's our Twitter account? Oh. Uh, Hannah is a stew? It's either Hannah's a stew or Hannah's, Hannah the stew. I think it's, it's Hannah is a stew because the Hannah the stew got... I have the account right We lost the account. Uh, Hannah's a stew. You're right. Hannah is a stew. Hannah's a stew. Hannah's a stew for great content. Yeah. <laughs> Use plural. <laughs> uh, it's it's apostrophe. apostrophe. Okay. Yeah, you can't put that in the handle. But yeah. Right, sorry. So Back uh, to you. until next time, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. And and with you. And also with He's you. With no, you. And, and, and also with you. Yeah. And also or however with that you. goes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great.